Admiral's personal log, date March 5th, 1940. Scheiße, scheiße, scheiße. I was recently introduced to a man I know only as Dieter. He's the chief engineer of MIME, the Ministry for Extraordinary Maritime Engineering. Somebody decided to put him in charge of having the final say which ships get built for the Kriegsmarine. I'll only have a say in how they'll be used. I've been given crazy ships with 18-inch guns and quadruple turrets, battle cruisers with almost nothing but torpedoes, and heavy cruisers which can't fight other heavy cruisers. Everything points to this going to be a disaster. Other than here, in my personal log, I cannot complain. I cannot be seen as weak or as questioning Dieter's designs since he's a favorite in the political circles. Question him and you're out of a job very quickly. This means I'll have to make do with what I've been given. I'll have to come up with a new doctrine based on these ships rather than the other way around and having ships that fit our doctrine. Our tactics will have to change. It'll require time, patience and experimentation. Time-tested tactics will no longer work. We'll just have to go with it, which is entirely un-German and very much unfamiliar to all the captains in my command. Fine. Let's begin. Hey guys, still here and welcome back to episode 2 of the meme campaign. We are finding ourselves in a clash with an enemy convoy. We have three destroyers, the 16, the 18 and the 19, and we are taking on the Monmouth and the Indus. They're both reinforcing the convoy or trying to just come to their aid as quickly as possible. But until they're here, we have a shot at 11 transports. So let's see what these new destroyers of mine can do. We have torpedoes, we have a decent amount of guns, and I, for one, would like to save the torpedoes for when we really need them. We're operating in a clear daytime weather, so it should be fairly easy to find a bunch of transports. But these destroyers, sorry, submarines, uh, no, these destroyers are not very well suited to spotting stuff. They're built as cheaply as possible, and they are not really made out to go and detect convoys and other ships at long ranges. So for now, I'll just have to try and find them the hard way. Move in their direction and look around with the Mark I eyeball. Uh, we, however, have been spotted. It is a sad state of affairs when I get detected by a transport before I detect the transport. Interestingly, I can see where my detector is. 20 kilometers out? Good lord. Okay, so that's probably one of their ships equipped with radar. I don't really see any other way around it. Now I have torpedoes. These torpedoes are only 21 inches. They're not 23 or 24 even. Oi. Um, they have a range of 12.7 and they will hit hard. They are decently dodgeable, but they will be detected fairly late, unless you have a good sonar array. My ships are operating at full speed, and if I can, I'll torpedo one of their ships into oblivion. The challenge will be to see them at all. There's definitely a bunch of shell fire coming from over here and here. And I kind of doubt that I'll have a lot of time to sink any transports, if any at all. Um, damn it, everything is shooting me, but I can't see anything. Considering the amount of shell fire, I think all of these transports are armed. Yeah, they're somewhere around here, 6.9 kilometers out. Here. The game knows that there's a ship there, but I can't spot it. If you can damage the V-16 with a 3-inch gun, fine. Smoke up. Aha. There you are. Okay, I think this is going to be more of a hit and run than I initially wanted. Because I don't really have much of a choice. Considering my extremely terrible spotting ranges, I'm going to have to just torpedo these guys and be gone. It won't really yield me a lot of victory points, but we'll just... Oh, that's what we've been given. Um, if I go bow in, 
I should be able to launch just the launcher on the bow. There. Then we're going to turn starboard. And it's just the 16 that I'm giving orders to, not yet the 18. The 18 is not allowed to launch torps yet. The other torpedo launcher rotates into position. Come on. There are 11 transports out here somewhere. Let's deal a blow to them, shall we? One of their escort ships has been detected. Let's see. That is a heavy cruiser packing 12 8 inch guns, a very sizable assortment of 2 inch guns, a couple of 3s and some 4s. But seriously, those 2 inch guns, there's a lot of them. They look intimidating, but I doubt they have the range. Okay, new plan. Um. The thing is in range, but I doubt we can hit it. Alright, everybody, we're going to go for an aggressive torpedo launch against the heavy cruiser. And then we'll bug out. These torpedoes will have to strike some of the transports and hopefully kill a few. Ah, the transports are the main objective, not the cruiser. Fine. Torps away. 19... Jeez, we're even going to miss the transports. That's your target there. Right there. This bouquet should be good enough. The 19 has its target. Uh, here. The guns are at least able to get some damage out. Wait. Ah, oh, it's the AI again. The AI is torpedoing their own transports. Dummies. Apparently this is something that was introduced a few patches ago, and I'm not in favor of it, because it means that the AI is almost a bigger risk to their, well, to themselves than I am. Which is a sad state of affairs. The Gurkha is going to slip through. That's a bit of overkill there. We're going to have to go in and kill this. Our guns can hit at 9 kilometer range. This shouldn't be that much of a difficulty to kill. Seriously, the Bellerophon, I think, is prob proper dead. She's been hit by eight torpedoes. Ah, come on. Get in there. Get in there. Get the transport. And get out. There. There's the Orpheus. No torpedo fire until otherwise directed. <clears throat> we need to sink these three. There we go. Now, this is one of our more traditional designs. This is not really a meme design. It's one of my four ship classes, and of the four, I think this is the most normal. This is the most <laughs> standard ship class that you'll see. A couple of dual torpedoes, sorry, uh, dual four inches there and here. Torpedo tubes there and here, which will allow them for a very nice torpedo angle. And with four inches, I'm able to take down uh, transports, destroyers, maybe the occasional light cruiser. But that's not really what these things were intended for. I think our, what we've sunk three transports combined. That's combined with the enemy's torpedoes as well. So we have at least some damage in. There's another transport. Switch fire to the mandate. Get rid of that. The Sapo is very much at risk of accidentally getting hit. Smoke up. I just need to inflict as much economic damage as possible <clears throat> without taking too much damage myself. Because these ships are not terribly expensive, but 7.5 million. And probably a lot of build time means that they're going to take quite... Whoa! Quite a while to replace. Could you not? Uh, 19. I'm going to detach you. You're going to head off there. You two are going to eliminate the Gurkha.
45% of kills required achieved. There we go. The Gurkha is burning up quickly. The Archer just needs a bit more flooding to take down. I'm hoping our Smokescreen, in combination with Speed, will keep us safe. But these are not terribly fast destroyers. That Battlecruiser design is way faster. That was doing 40, 45 or 48 knots. And anyway, it was topped out. Maxed out on speed. Let's turn to starboard a bit more. Allow the stern guns to open up. It's definitely incoming shell fire from either the light cruiser or the heavy cruiser over there. Ness is pretty much done for. The 19 has the archer. <clears throat> Very nice. Good start here. Acheron. The Ness is down. Let's teach this thing some manners. We can turn back into the direction of the rest of the fleet. What you got there? Is that your light cruiser? Yes, it is. Their light cruiser is packing 12 six-inch guns. A whole slew of torpedo launchers. Look at that. Whoa. That's it's 19 torpedo launchers per side. That thing is dangerous. Good lord. Okay. What's the range? Six clicks out. Whew. Okay. Um, I suspect this thing has already killed some stuff. Just not the right nation. Because it's killed some of their stuff. Torpedoes in the water. No threat. These things have a very modest Hydro 3 sonar array, so they're not very capable of detecting torpedoes. But if given enough warning, I should be able to just dodge. Okay, there's the last transport that I need you guys to kill. We're about... About ready with the trip... No, with the quad launcher. I might be able to torpedo this light cruiser into oblivion. I hope so, anyway. <clears throat> Whoa, 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 whoa. That was the warning uh, that there was a torpedo in the water. When one of their ship gets hit <laughs> by a torpedo. Acheron is down. I've achieved 91%, so that you're the last one then. Because there were 11 of you. Oh, crap, that heavy cruiser's still around. Any chance we can ID this thing fast? No. Okay, fine. We'll wait until all the torpedo launchers are ready, and then just pop the swarm there and run away. But this thing's maneuvering. It's going to make it a bit more difficult. 18 has gotten their damage control... No, their fire control damaged. There's more torpedoes there. Hard over. 82%. 84. 87. 18 has almost completed the reload of all torpedoes. Whoops. Smoke it up. There. That's the Indus. Light Cruiser Indus. Does not carry an extended amount of torpedoes, does it? No, just a standard complement. Few bulkheads. Good turning circle. 322. Two. Sonar 3. We're not torping this thing. I mean, I can. I can try, but I doubt it'll actually hit anything. And I first want the New Zealand to be destroyed. Because she will detect the torps. Just go. Just go. We can start squeezing the British economy already. I'm all for it. Let's run. If you need me, I'll be over somewhere else. <clears throat> Whoa. Hit and run. There's the Monmouth. Ah, we fully identified her as well. Torpedoes? How many launchers did you have? Ten. On the stern. The 8-inch guns. A, B, X, Y. Bunch of fours, bunch of threes. There's all the twos. Look at that. 
Turning Circle 657, Few Bulkheads, Cramped Quarters, interesting. Anti Flood 3, Anti Torp 4? Yikes, Sonar 3. Okay. Okay. Fast? 37 knots? Holy shit. They're paying 102 million for a heavy cruiser. That's pretty rich. Can you see me? Yes. Definitely. Okay, we're gonna just send out the torps. And we'll see what works. Torpedoes away from the 16. No, the Monmouth is already changing direction. Never mind that. <clears throat> is that meant for the Monmouth? Kind of doubt that. Aggressive launch on the 18. Just toss your torps and run. Oh, she's heading away. Never mind. We're out of here. We got what we came for. I just hope I can successfully disengage. The destroyers were, in fact, able to successfully disengage. And while we have lost a little bit of crew on these DDs, they did perform very nicely. We gained a bunch of victory points. Um, I have to hat tip the British for helping in the destruction of their own convoy. Because the light cruiser and heavy cruiser both sent out a wave of torpedoes, which did not end up hitting my destroyers, but it did end up hitting the transports. Now we can also gain quite a bit of information about their battles. Sorry, about their cruisers. Uh, this is the Monmouth class heavy cruiser, so this was the name giver. They have a pretty hefty price tag of 5.3 million a month versus my 394,000 a month DDs. These cost 7.5 million to build. Their heavy cruiser sets them back 102 million per, per destroyer. Oh, sorry, per cruiser. The crew training, by some miracle, is already green. I don't know. They might have it maxed out at 180% or something. I generally don't get to that, at least for a couple of months. Their light cruiser is a far cheaper design of 31 million. They take 13 months to build, as opposed to 17 months for the heavy cruiser. Uh, they have a trained crew, again, impressive, and they carry a lot of them. There's 1,090 people on that ship, as opposed to 989 on this. Pretty hefty armament, 20 torpedo tubes on that heavy cruiser. This thing is going to be a menace to my battleships. Now, let's see what other fight we can do. It seems that the British are moving a bunch of ships around. They're moving six heavy cruisers from Barry to Sunderland. Okay, interesting. Uh, my destroyers are going to take a little bit of money to repair, but it's only a month, and yes, they do... Whoa! <laughs> okay, that costs a whole bunch more than I was expecting. 1.5 million a month, as opposed to 394,000 for maintenance. Jesus, okay. Um, they will probably be heading to the far ports, because that's what they do. So I'll have to just move them back once they're fixed. Ambush! Who's ambushing who? Uh, we have managed to sneak close to the enemy with our destroyers. Should we try and attack? Yes, of course. Because we have a lot more than they do. Of course. We're going to kill off some DDs. I wouldn't at all be surprised if their design is far more reasonable than mine. Let's see. Who's solo? And why are you solo? You, join that. <clears throat> okay. Oh, you dumbass. Fine. Um, let's head west. Torpedoes denied. Normal formation. Normal formation. I could set the DDs up as dance moves. In case you never heard that term. If you hit the torpedo avoidant button here, they are going to do some really weird shit. They have suddenly gained either a magical, a magic tug, or they suddenly find the button that says activate bow thruster. At any rate, their turning circle becomes something like 15 meters as opposed to 202. 
Sadly, the British were able to avoid our ambush. Now, I could cheat a little bit here and go to the ship's stats and see what these guys have, but I won't. We'll just have to find them and then have a look at their designs. There was, however, something else here. More destroyers. Eh, this is not going to be terribly interesting. I'll just uh, do this one off camera. As it turned out, this one might actually be a bit more interesting than I had expected. Because at a range of about two to three kilometers, the V-18 over here detected the Centaur and has managed to drop a whole load of torpedoes in her direction. But the Centaur only has few bulkheads and while these guys do have decent anti-flood, they do not come with anti-torpedo protection. So it might be the actual first warship kill of this campaign. The Centaur, of course, in fashion, is retaliating. Can we get the second torp to hit? She's down to 9% structural integrity. Good lord, we pulled a number on that one. Buoyancy dropping by 10% per second, basically. Centaur is dead. Wow. It's way better than I had hoped. Well, let's turn you over there. Still a swarm of torpedoes coming out of that light cruiser. But that is a nice kill. That's 31 million. Killed by a 7.5 million ship. I'll take it. Can we do that again? Can we do that again? Because I know it's over there. I just need to go out and get it. And that kind of would immediately sink the rest of the convoy too, I believe. Because <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, if you kill the transport... or Sorry, if you kill the escorts... I think the game considers the transports to be dead, too. So we'll just have to do a little bit of zigzagging here and avoid incoming shell fire. How close are you? There. Interestingly, the Centaur was basically dead in the water. It's like it was parked inside of a smoke screen for some unknown reason. I wonder if the other one still has that issue. Hello. Huh. 3.2 kilometer range. That's how close I have to be to detect a transport. Pretty sad state of affairs. But hey, it's free transports. Ah, there's more. We are doing an evening battle. And it's cloudy, so we have all sorts of negative modifiers for uh, our ability to detect enemy ships. Of course, skimping out on the tower I use is not helpful either. But hey, this is what Dieter gave me. This is what the Meme Bureau gave me. I'll just have to make it... Whoa, 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 whoa. Work. <clears throat> Those light cruisers are so extremely dangerous. Let's wound the Chester here, since we're right on top of it. Show yourself. Six kilometers out. Now, the interesting thing here is, these transports generally operate in one big flock. So if I can take a few of them down, I can probably unearth the rest of them as well. Switch to Pigeon, because we're broadside. We got the most guns to hit that. Pigeon's flooding, which is a weird thing to say about any Pigeon, but this one in particular. Might accidentally hit Chester here, but that'd be fine. Where's that damn cruiser? There. A pigeon... <laughs> here we go. A pigeon has died due to heavy, heavy flooding. Here, hit this. Guns over to starboard. Punch a couple holes in the Chester. <clears throat> I'm going to keep the 18 safe. Because as we've seen, repairing a trans... Oh, sorry, repairing a destroyer is apparently a really expensive endeavor. Still 6-8. Okay, fine. As long as you don't hit me, I don't mind. Now again, you can cheat a little bit here, open this up, and you can see more of the transports, but I think we'll be able to find them just by heading towards the other ones. We have a green level of crew, that's nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa! 
16, heart starboard. Let's turn back towards the other one. Bring all the guns over. <coughs> Eventually. These were electrohydraulic turrets, right? No, advanced hydros. Okay, fine. It helps. Thankfully, none of these transports appear to be packing uh, their own defensive weapons. So that would make my life a lot more difficult. Next. Bit of a butchery here, but I'll take it. That cruiser's still at 7 kilometers. I want that thing. Because it's trading up to such a huge extent if I can sink a $30 million warship. As opposed to my seven and a half million dollar destroyer. Goodbye. These four inches are fun. They're more than good enough to sink these transports. I've achieved sixty percent of kills. Let's just keep heading towards the light cruiser gently. What? Oh. Who needs enemies when you have friends like that? You have a light cruiser that says escort. What do you mean escort? If I sink my own transports, I won't have to worry about the enemy doing it. Oh, we've completed the mission. That's nice. Sadly, with a destroyer half full of water, I don't think it's safe to go after that light cruiser of theirs. Let's see if I can disengage. Call it a day, because I'm coming out way, way ahead on this battle. And I really don't feel the need to go and find that thing. There we go, job done. The 16 and the 18 made it out alive, as opposed to the Centaur, which is going to set the British back one light cruiser. So, I'm actually looking for something bigger to, to hunt down. Where is the enemy? Well, we found the enemy, but sadly it's with another group of destroyers. Um, interestingly, this is going to be a very short-range encounter. And um, we have destroyers, such as the 16, which apparently has been fixed and is operational again, at a mere 2.7 kilometers away from a heavy cruiser. In case you forgot about the heavy cruisers, this is those heavy cruiser designs that have tons and tons and tons of 2-inch guns. So this is not a place that I want to be. But I think that works both ways. Because that heavy cruiser is probably not interested in being here at all. Not this close to a destroyer that's packing 9 21-inch torpedoes. So we're going to hit this one up first. We're going to have to torpedo with the V1 and the V18 for the second. We'll just have to try and cut them off while everybody smokes up. <clears throat> Torpedoes away. Go. I don't care. We'll just not use the second launcher. It's fine. The DDs here have bouquet. Jesus Christ. What do you not understand about friendly fire? You idiot. Where is the V1 supposed to go? How am I supposed to dodge my own torps? This is mental. Because I cannot turn port. I cannot turn starboard very well either. Because I got a whole swarm coming after me. I can try and stop. Fucking idiots. These are going to miss. These are going to miss. Everything is going to miss. The V1 dropped a few more. Like, what the fuck is this? Hard over. Maximum star return. Let's see if we can dodge the torpedoes that are thrown out by these heavy cruisers. Mm. Yeah, we dodged it. But we didn't dodge our own. Shh. I'm gonna get hit again. What fucking nonsense is this? This needs to get patched ASAP. I'm having trouble enough dodging enemy torpedoes. I don't need to dodge my own as well. And they torpedoed me from 
absolutely behind me. Oh, this idiot's probably going to get torpedoed. Oh yeah, you're going to be in a bit of a rough spot there. No, you're not. The V1 sinks due to heavy flooding. <sighs> Which one of you dicks do I need to demote? V8? Nothing. 18? Yep. <clears throat> Attention XO of the V-18, take your pistol out and relieve the captain of his command, because he just killed off the entire crew, consisting of 202 sailors aboard the V-1. Due to sheer negligence and an inability to predict where the friendly ships are going to be. This was some next level of stupid. Speaking of, their heavy cruiser is still at risk. Yep. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. We'll just have to go with that. Um, if I'm responsible for sacrificing one of my own destroyers and trading up for one of those 100 million something heavy cruisers, I'll take it. But right now, I want to leave this battleground. Because at short range... I have somewhat of an advantage at longer range. I might be able to torp them, but I can't find them properly. I'll probably have to design a new class of destroyers just to be able to find enemy heavy cruisers or, well, enemy anything, basically. Still, it seems like these DDs are definitely earning their keep. If they're not busy fucking over their allies. Well, this battle was sort of a success. Despite losing one destroyer, they lost 102 million heavy cruiser. That's one of their Monmouths down. Sadly, they have plenty more where that came from, because they got another 10 heavy cruisers. Anyway, that'll be it for this episode. Episode 2 is done. I have a nice amount of budget. I have a nice amount of naval funds. I might actually design a new class of ship, because, well, this is the meme... This is the maritime, oh, sorry, the Ministry for Extraordinary Maritime Engineering. So we need to keep designing new classes and testing those out during the war. Hope you guys join me for that in the next episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon for more.